How to Learn Epic Healthcare Software If you're about to start using Epic Healthcare Software and are wondering how to learn it, you're in the right place. Let's break down the steps to help you become proficient. First, Epic Software Training typically starts with onboarding. This is where you get familiar with the interface and workflows without feeling overwhelmed. The goal is to make you comfortable with the essential workflows so you can confidently navigate the system and be ready to work on the floor. Onboarding usually lasts around three weeks, though this can vary depending on the organization. During this time, you'll receive a combination of learning methods, including hands-on practice, simulations, and self-paced online courses. Hands-on practice is key as it allows you to apply what you've learned in a controlled setting, boosting your confidence and proficiency three. After onboarding, ongoing training is crucial. Many organizations make the mistake of stopping training after the initial phase, but continuous education is what separates functional users from expert users. Ongoing training helps reinforce learning, prevent knowledge gaps, and ensure you stay confident in both routine tasks and less frequent, yet critical, workflows. Epic frequently rolls out upgrades, and proper upgrade training is essential. This training isn't just about what's new. It's also about refining workflows, improving efficiency, and enhancing patient care. You'll learn how to seamlessly integrate changes into your workflows and maintain efficiency without disruption. A blended learning approach is highly effective. This means mixing in-person training with online courses. For example, you might attend in-person clinical workshops and also take self-paced online courses that you can complete according to your schedule. This hybrid model accommodates different schedules and learning styles. Personalized training is also important. Every user brings a different level of experience to the table, so personalized training ensures you get the right level of guidance without a necessary redundancy. This can be achieved through assessments like UPA-style tests or auto-grader-based evaluations, which allow experienced users to test out of redundant training. Micro-learning is another effective format. This involves focusing on specific tasks and delivering information quickly, similar to how social media platforms work. Micro-learning is particularly useful for busy clinicians with short attention spans, helping to drive engagement and retention. To stay updated, training content and system updates should be delivered in a way that ensures you actually see and absorb the information. Current communication methods like email can be ineffective, so it's better to use real-time updates posted on learning home dashboards or intranet sites. However, it's important to make sure these updates are clear and timely to keep you informed and engaged. Finally, monitoring and adapting your training program is vital. Feedback, assessments, and performance metrics help identify and address any gaps or evolving needs. By analyzing user behavior and training performance, organizations can continuously refine and optimize their EPIC training approach, making it more effective over time. By following these steps, you'll be well on your way to mastering EPIC healthcare software and ensuring you can use it efficiently in your daily workflows.